so there are actually two kinds of students here so if you have already completed all these subjects completely and the second kind of people who have not prepared all these subjects so my suggestion is see so first of all the first question is ki uh, since you know that there is almost two months uh, remaining for gate 2024 for cse right so uh, can you help them like can you tell them how they can prepare uh, for that in these two months yeah so there are actually two kinds of students here so if you have already completed all these subjects completely then your focus should be on revision so my suggestion would be preparing a short notes from the long notes and then revise the short notes every day along with that take the test series test series is very important if you have prepared all the subjects and while taking the test series you have to see what are the mistakes that you are making and revise those subjects therefore test series is actually useful for revision so rather than practice i feel that test series is a very good tool to revise the subjects so if you have prepared well focus on revision and test series and the second kind of people who have not prepared all the subjects they feel that now there is not enough time and we can leave the subjects but two months is a lot of time so if we can prepare every day for 10 hours it is 600 hours you have in 600 hours in fact you can complete the entire computer science syllabus so for those who have not prepared completely and who are thinking to leave the subjects my suggestion would be don't leave any subject see many people generally what they do is at the end they will leave out co and mathematics thinking yeah. that they are difficult and anyway they cannot do difficult subjects so my suggestion is see even though the subjects are difficult there is it is not a guarantee that you will get difficult subjects from difficult questions from difficult subjects sometimes you will get simple questions from difficult subjects so leaving out anything is not a right option if you don't have time you wake up early or sleep late do something complete the entire syllabus without completing the entire syllabus it is not it is really a waste to go to gate exam if you are leaving out any subjects then automatically your chances of getting a good rank or at least in 1000 rank within 1000 is not there if you are not aiming for a rank within 1000 you are not going to get anything so your aim should be completing the syllabus whatever at whatever cost so if you are working take leave no pay, pay this no pay leave you can take it if you are a student bang the classes bang the college and stay at home and complete the syllabus if you are already dropping in year i think you might have completed the syllabus but then don't go to the gate exam without seeing all the topics leave the practice questions that is not important leave the test series but completion of the syllabus is important without completing the syllabus don't go with 80% of the syllabus that is unnecessary that is that is waste of time you will not get anything see in gate it is 100% or nothing if you want to get a rank go with 100% preparation or you leave it completely don't go with 80% or 70% of preparation that rank is not going to be helpful even if you get 2000 rank you cannot even put it in linkedin if that that rank is not even eligible to be kept in linkedin so only if you get a rank within 500 that looks good you will get a seat at least in linkedin it looks good otherwise there is no point in writing gate exam at all yeah also uh, sir uh, can you talk about uh, like pyqs like from which year we can start the solving the pyqs and how we should approach the problem or we should focus more on test series or the pyqs 70% of the questions in gate exam will be from pyqs only 30% questions will be different so if you if you prepare all the pyqs then you are obviously going to get 70% of the marks so getting 70 marks only with pyqs is very easy and that 30% of the marks you have to work uh, and uh, see the practice questions test series so generally if if a test series is good they cover that remaining 30% also so pyqs plus test series will cover 100% mark so let's move to the next question like uh, let's talk about the test series ki uh, how you should attempt and uh, how you should i mean give test series and also how you should uh, 
uh, like instead of feeling sad or upset if the test series are not getting that much good as you are expecting. So how you should approach and how you should give the test series so that it can benefit you in the actual uh, gate exam. So initially, people won't get good marks in test series. That happens with everyone. Even the student who is going to get first rank will not good marks in test series initially. But gradually, when they take 10, 20 tests, they will get used to the timing time management in the exam and also they will revise a lot of things so gradually it will improve so it, it will be an increasing graph so also uh like if i talk about my time then i also like i remember the first test series i gave i got around 35 marks out of the 100 marks like i was really demotivated that even after completing the whole syllabus i am unable to get good score so i think it is very normal to have this uh, this is the learning curve only, this is not your uh, final gate exam. So I have seen many students getting less marks in the first, uh, at least first four or five test series uh, in the test. But then after that four or five or maybe after 10 tests, they improve. So at the end of the, uh, before the gate exam, they, they will get better and get 70 marks, 75 marks. But initially they will be in 30, 40 marks. I too don't know why this happens. I feel that maybe because they are just getting used to the interface and the time management. And once they get better at using the interface and time management, they are getting good marks. Or maybe they are revising or preparing more. Once they see less marks in the test series, for the next test, they will be more, they are more preparing or more prepared. Or I don't know exactly, but this is a trend. Initially, they get less marks and then they get more marks. And, uh, also, uh, can we talk about that, how we should, uh approach or how we should utilize the three months of gap which is present like before joining IITs and after gate or like if you are giving IIT you are not getting MTech you are, uh, and you are getting MTech RA or uh, MS there so how you should plan the things like after three months like you mean to say that there is some time from February uh, uh, 14th or 15th till August yeah. that time is really uh, crucial you can prepare for placements so generally, if you look at any placement of broad-based companies, you have to be strong in one language, one programming language. Java is suggestible. And then you have to learn algorithm, data structures, and problem solving. So maybe if you can solve 200 problems in these three months, and if you prepare a notes of it, and if you are thorough with it, then you will be able to crack any broad-based company interview. And then before the placements, you can revise your notes. Generally, what many people do is uh, one month before the placement, they will start preparing for the placement. That is a wrong approach. But you have to use these three months of time to prepare completely for all the uh, these topics. Choose at least 200 problems. You can go to uh, Geeks for Geeks or Lead Code or select some 200 questions which are moderate or difficult and solve all those questions, write the code in a notebook, write the algorithm in a notebook, keep that notebook with you. Whenever you get time, you keep revising it, especially one month before the placements, this notes is going to be very, very helpful. People generally try to learn many languages. I, I suggest that, you know, instead of learning too many languages, you fix to one language and be very proficient in that language. You can take Java. If you are preparing for interview preparation, Java is the best language. So you can go with Java and algorithm data structures and problem solving. And in fact, uh, so now this month is November, right? Yeah. So if you are watching this video any any time in, in December or January, my channel will be containing all the Java programming language, Python programming language, uh, and then algorithm data structures and problem solving. So you can watch those videos also. Now currently gate videos are getting uploaded. So after that, I will, oh yeah, yeah. one more thing. So on my channel, uh, so this is, this is a promotion. <laughs> <On my laughs> no problem, channel, sir. On my channel, there are all the gate videos are available for free. So if you are preparing for gate and you know, if you have any subjects remaining or if you feel that in your coaching center, some subject is not good, you can watch my videos. They are completely free. And then a lot of subjects are coming up uh, by, I think from December, I will start uploading. So you can prepare for uh, placements also from the channel. Yeah. I don't listen to the haters, man. I treat them like the enemy. Yeah.
Had a couple traders, man, but now they know the penalty. 